It has been forever. I am so sorry. I have been crazy busy, but that's a good thing. I have been driving to work over an hour there and back every day for the past four to five months. And I'm hopefully going to be moving closer to the area soon. I'm telling you right now, driving that much every day takes it out of you. Especially if you are driving from there to here. And then on top of that, doing clients, doing your marketing, doing your business side of things as well as cleaning and making sure everything's good to go driving on top of it can be a lot I wanted to talk to you guys about how to get clients yes I changed my hair I'm going dark I'm trying to change it up and then get my hair healthy again so and I got new glasses no makeup on right now I'm actually gonna do my makeup while I'm talking to you guys today though don't mind me I'm just going to do all that fun stuff I want to talk to you guys today about getting clients if you guys are struggling to get clients, if you're just starting out like me, I started out this past year, it can be scary. It can be a lot to deal with when you don't know how to get clients. I am technically not even from this area. I'm about an hour away. Like I don't know a lot of people in the area. I do have friends in the area. It wasn't, I was starting from scratch in a sense. So that can happen. We rely on solely online anymore that it's hard to figure out ways to actually market your yourself and if it's even going to work want to be successful you don't want to have to take that risk sorry I'm trying to find my makeup stuff to me I kind of realized that so I'm using Fenty it's really dark though <laughs> we'll see how this goes to me I found that using your online platforms definitely is awesome especially for starting out now I used Instagram ads Facebook ads I did that more to create hype I don't necessarily think it was beneficial gaining clientele but I think it was more just to advertise to the area that there's something new coming into town and the area I live in or the area that I wanted to open my business there is a lot of competition because in these small rural areas it's all about like salons and stuff I felt like the aesthetic department there's like a handful of people compared to hairstylists in this area you literally could probably list 20 off the bat and it's not even a huge town I felt like it was exciting and new I could utilize those ads to my advantage. I also used it on my pictures on Instagram to gain more likes just to build hype as well which I don't know if that's really necessary or not. I just thought it was interesting and I never had tried it before so I wanted to utilize that. But to me what I found most beneficial is Google. Google has been awesome because what do we do when we're trying to find certain services and I feel like what I offer is those types of services that you Google that you need you know maybe that week of or interested in learning something new. So the difference. I'm so pale. It's okay. I have other stuff to combat it. So I felt like Google was going to be a great thing to utilize right off the bat. So I did. And I heard from a few people around here that used Google ads and it really helped them. We live close to an Air Force base as well. So we have a lot of people that are new to the area that maybe lived in big cities before that had these types of treatments on a consistent basis that are looking for reliable, trustworthy people. When I'm looking for that type of thing, go to Google, right? You need a website to create your Google account, which I had actually a friend at the time that was renting a suite here. She did that as her profession. We ended up trading services and she created a website for me. So that was awesome. Shout out to her and her business, Event Tide Creative. So she's awesome. She's on Instagram. I can leave her information below. She did a great job. Of course, you can all design our own websites for free, but why not take the opportunity to take a load off my shoulders and support someone Someone else that's local in the area and have fun and they can be creative with it as well so I don't have to stress about it. I am learning as I go it's okay to not do everything. It's okay to delegate. It's okay to realize you can learn from other people. You don't need to stress yourself out to the max where you're feeling like you can't do anything at all because you're trying to be the marketer all of this which I do but you know what that was an opportunity that I took and I think it benefited me. So I created my Google and then I actually started utilizing Google ads because 
I didn't have a lot of reviews at first. So if you don't have a lot of reviews on Google, you're really not gonna be shown as much, I noticed. You're gonna be more at the bottom, your traffic is not as high. Basically, when you utilize Google Ads, what you're essentially doing is creating your name and putting it right at the top. We see it all the time, right? We see it with big companies when we Google them, we're like, oh yeah, they're paying for those ads, now they're paying for those, so they can be on top when they Google that item. Why would you not utilize that? And the price was reasonable. You can monitor the price per day. You can say, I wanna pay for five days worth of this and that, or you wanna set a certain limit. You die downloaded the apps on my phone. So they have a business app that you can Google business where you can watch the utilization on your account, as well as the Google ad app. You can literally just do it all on your phone. It's really easy after you set up the initial account on Google. That honestly, for my clientele, has helped me so much, especially since we have a lot, of, like I said, new people in the area that probably utilize those services in bigger cities, you know, Chicago, or, you know, what have you. A lot of these people that are coming in are used to living in a bigger town. We are not a huge town. We are about an hour away from Kansas City. That is probably the closest shopping that there is. I am using Google Ads and that seems to help me so, so, so much. I have got a lot of people say, oh yeah, I just, I just Googled you. And I'm like, heck yeah, that's so awesome because I feel like I wouldn't have gotten ha at least half my clientele. Now, yeah, I've had people message me on Facebook. We have community groups on Facebook as well in this town. I don't know if that's like a big thing, honestly, for big cities. For some reason, there's Facebook groups for like smaller towns and that's where you can see all the fun drama, right? And I don't, I literally don't get on it. Like I try not to get it on it as well because as you know, that type of thing is a lot. But anyways, I am a member of it. Have people that tag me if someone is interested in a service, if they say, hey, you know, I'm looking for this and it's people in this town. So it's a Facebook group that's part of this town. So they're like, I'm looking for this service. And so people will tag me and be like, yeah, awesome. And you know, I'll, I'll message them. I have noticed if I message them, they seem to be more comfortable with talking about it because a lot of times these people are new to this type of service and they don't want to talk about it publicly comment wise. A lot of times if you message them directly, if you do both or you message on there and say, hey, I messaged you, then I feel like they would feel more apt to go along with you because there's usually multiple people that are tagged. It's not just me. There's other estheticians in town. I would say that has helped me some as well, being a part of the community online, but also maybe doing things in the community too. It's doing giveaways that people can see online, stuff like that to just kind of get your name out there so you can start building your services and clientele and being here more hours. When I first started, I basically had an open availability because I didn't want to limit the people that are going to come in. Now, as I slowly started getting busier, I'm starting to take a little bit more control, especially since I live an hour away, trying to take a little bit more control over the days that I am open. Now, I can always still book people, rebook people on those days, but having those new clients come in, they have more of that limited availability to choose from what days. I'm testing that out to see if that really is beneficial. And once I move up here, I'll have more of an idea of how much I can be around. That's not necessarily permanent. That's just me kind of testing the waters and seeing how that's going. Cause the whole point of me starting this business was to be able to enjoy my life, enjoy what I'm doing and live a life. I don't want to be defined as this to show to be defined as me, Abby. And this is just going to be something I truly enjoy and passionate about and supports my life. That's what I'm trying to remind myself in all of this. I want to still be able to create a life for myself. And I think that most of us here that are entrepreneurs or most of us here that are trying to pursue this dream have that same goal. I feel like we want to have control over our life and what we decide to do. And so you need to set those boundaries for yourself and the clients will respect you too. And if they don't respect you, you don't need them as a client. I've had a few people like that. That is another thing I want to talk about to help build clientele, the respect that you get from them. So I have a good example. I've not set my 24 hour policy in place yet because those are one of those things I didn't want to limit yet to people. I didn't want to scare people off with the fee, which I do agree that I think people need a fee. Starting out, I just was scared. I didn't want to scare people away. So I decided to not set that fee in place yet. I wanted to, which honestly is a good thing to do at first too, because you can scare the people away that are going to waste your time, right? If they don't respect that, I was just at a point where I didn't want to fail. And so I was like, you know what? I'll just filter those people out because I, I had control over my schedule anyways. I advertised myself as a private appointment only. And so nobody can walk in. And so I kind of had control over that before it was even a thing. I haven't set that policy in place yet. The past month has been kind of slow for me. So every client that I have booked, I'm trying to take seriously. And I had 
had a client this week who was new to me and booked a pretty big service and was messaging me up to 45 minutes to the appointment, right? And literally ghosted me. 45 minutes up to the appointment, she was texting me, okay, we're still on. Yes, we're still on, like obviously. So yeah, I texted her back and then never showed up, never texted me and then was like, hey, sorry, I went into work. I got called into work, I'm so busy, which is understandable. I totally get that. Especially we have a lot of nurses around here. We have a lot of traveling nurses and sometimes you get called in. Totally understand that. So I was like, oh no, you're fine. I totally get it. Not a huge deal. She's like, okay, cool. Can I book for tomorrow? And I was like, you know, yeah, that's fine. Actually, I'm kind of slow this week. So I have this opening tomorrow that's totally fine. Good to go. We're totally fine. We are gonna see each other tomorrow. So the next day rolls around, set everything up again. As an esthetician, you have to come in an hour early, set up your supplies, get ready, right? If you need to warm up your wax, I currently don't have a plug-in that I can turn on my phone, which I need to get. I texted 10 minutes, right? I usually do 15, but since, you know, it was her second time, I texted her like 10 minutes after. I was like, hey, just wanna make sure we're still on no text nothing ghosted me again second time haven't heard from her since that right there i think was like the final straw for me to set that policy in place to be like okay after the second offense you're gonna get an automatic fee let's say of 35 dollars, or you know a certain percentage of the service or just a set fee that you have for all clients and especially since i drive over an hour right now i had two clients that day could have like figured something else out that was my gas you know that's just a lot to go out of your way and you're time when I could have been marketing or whatever for somebody to be that disrespectful. I understand, like I am bad. I had an appointment, I had to reschedule today. I am the most easygoing post person in the world when it comes to that stuff. It was one of those things that you could have texted me back. I gave her opportunity after opportunity. It just wasn't met at that point. Okay, you obviously are having some issues in your life right now that you need to figure out. I totally get it, but it was my fault. Don't sit there and blame that person be like, oh, screw through you or whatever. I didn't have that policy set in place. So that's my fault. Now I've learned and I'm like, okay, I need to have more respect for myself. At that point, you need to take a step back and reflect and see why am I slow this month? Why am I not gaining clientele? Think about those things when it comes to gaining respect. I've had a lot of people cancel this month. I did have a lot on my books. It's not that I wasn't doing all those things. It's just the fact you thought you had these clients and then you didn't because some people cancel and you don't have those policies set in place. So people are starting to get used to that. And so you need to take a step back, reanalyze your business and say, I would have made X amount of dollars this month from those cancellations alone if I would have just taken the time to set that policy. The main things here for me that I have learned is utilizing your online community. You're gonna gain some trust and respect. If you don't get a lot of clientele, you're gonna just be known in the community. That's kind of like the way it will say talk. You're being referred by talk. And so I think that's kind of a new way of being referred by talk. Utilizing Google, I think is very important to help you, especially if you're new to the area. Those policies are important for you to gain that respect. Now it is scary at first because it's hard to implement those, but I think they are important and I'm going to, by the end of the year, utilize that. Other than that, obviously social media, you want to market on social media, that's given. I feel like if you're wanting to gain clientele and reach out to the younger community, if you're wanting to reach out to older communities, Facebook, so old handy dandy the newspaper. You know, a lot of times the local newspapers do stuff online too. Radio and stuff, which I don't currently feel like I make enough money to invest in that type of advertising. I feel like people who benefit from the radio is going to be more of those bigger companies. Obviously you'd benefit from it as well. If you're just starting out, try to utilize the things that are free that aren't going to put you in a bind because there's so many things that you can do that are free. Even just setting up your account on Google and getting reviews is more than not doing it at all if you can't afford the Google Ads at first. But the cool thing about Google Ads, you can spend dollar, like a dollar a day. Compared to a billboard, you're gonna go spend like from five to 10, 15, 20,000 dollars, depending on where you're at. So just utilizing your resources, not spending a lot of money at first. I do referral cards as well. Referral cards is a great one. With a referral card, I'll show you mine here. This is my referral card here. 
it has my social media on the back, but my referral card has 20% off. Each person, the person that refers and the new person gets 20% off. That's quite a bit. If you're new and you're trying to get clientele, stuff like this will definitely get your name out there as well. To me, I feel like giving too many discounts off the bat might not be the best thing because that's kind of like losing the respect of your clients too and your time and money. But other than that, that's just some tips and tricks I had today that I've kind of learned starting out here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my basic makeup. I didn't do any eyebrows. I have one client today and I'm going to the gym and I'm gonna edit this video. I also tried out eyelash extensions and they need to be redone. They're already coming out. Okay guys, well, I'm so glad that I checked in. I'm gonna start making more videos and check in with you guys more. I've just been MIA because I've been driving so much every day. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be moving up here by the end of the year and really start taking my online side more seriously. So I hope you guys have a great day. Stay beautiful. Thank you.